garbage. Last chance to renew. AA insurance. Garbage. And garbage. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Sunday Sit Down. Welcome to the program, everybody. Glad to have you with us on this great Sunday. I am Anthony Bove. You know, just kind of going through the mail here and, uh, just, you know, they like, really try and nail you. I mean, they, uh, I got mail up to Wazoo, and they're always trying to get promos and ads for you, and, you know, trying to make you do this and that, but, I mean, I just got to put it in a pile and just burn it. Just burn it. Do that. Just burn it. Our first topic today, punch heard around the world. Some baseball talk here. Rune Odor might have landed the biggest punch in baseball history I've ever seen uh, on Jose Batista. It was actually last week, right after I finished my Sunday sit-down video, I was so annoyed because I turned on the TV. It was like the top trending thing. And um, I, I just wish I had it on last week, but I already recorded it. So anyway... Um, it, I mean, this is, this is nothing new. Tensions have been high since last year after Batista did the bat flip, uh, in Toronto. That was like the bat flip her, uh, heard around the world. Um, but I mean, this is, this is a big thing. I mean, Batista gets up, he gets drilled with the 97 mile an hour fastball to the, to the ribs. Not too happy about it. Is looking at the Ranger dugout, gets down to first base. Next, uh, next batter comes up. Hits a ground ball to third base. He fields it. Goes for the double play at second base. Batista's trying to break up the double play. Slides into Odor, who did not like the slide, clearly. Uh, gets up, pushes him, and then, I mean, quick right punch. Uh, bench is cleared. Bullpen's coming out. I mean, it was crazy. Went on for like 20 minutes. Um, but, I mean, this is, this, is, this is pretty big here. Um, as well as... Uh, suspension wise lots of suspensions going on but the biggest one is the eight game for Odor which is a big loss for the Rangers for a position player eight games is is a lot and he is appealing that but uh Batista got one game I believe but uh Odor obviously got the majority of it I mean he did not have the right to just you know nail a, a hook on him so but that's what's going on in, in sports talk right now our second topic today, unfortunate news, Egypt Air has went down in the Mediterranean Sea. They do not know the cause of why this happened. They're thinking it's terrorism, but it could be a possible mechanical issue. Uh, it was traveling from Paris to Cairo, Egypt, when it went down. Apparently, it was at cruising altitude at 37,000 feet uh, when it made some abrupt turns and uh, just spiraled down in, in the Mediterranean. And, and planes got to stop doing this. I mean, this is scary stuff. This, this has got to stop. Uh, they got to do some, something to this. Uh, apparently, they lost radar with the plane. Uh, so, you know, pretty scary stuff. But planes got to definitely stop doing this. And our third topic today. No Triple Crown this year, folks. Exaggerator wins the Preakness Stakes in Baltimore, Maryland. That is knocking out Nyquist's dreams of uh, winning the Triple Crown. Would have been nice to see a back-to-back -back Triple Crown. But there's always next year. Believe me. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys this week. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And, and you know, just enjoy the simple things, okay, people? It's the little things in life that make, that make uh, it great. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you back here next week for Sunday Sit Down.